This week, I've got Disney Nature's Penguins starring Steve the Penguin. Yes, you heard that right. Uh, this week, it's, it's a documentary. It's one of these big kind of sweeping Disney Nature ones. They do them. They tend to do them around every Earth Day. And I got to say, I'm, I'm a huge fan of these types of movies. Like, I'm such a sucker for them. Not just these type of movies, but any sort of nature documentary. Like, I love planet Earth. I love our planet, Blue Planet, if a planet is involved, essentially. And the thing I like about the Disney Nature ones is, of course, it's an imposed storyline. But they have a storyline. A lot of the times in, you know, planet Earth, we're going to follow a, a dolphin for like two minutes. And then we're going to follow, like, the mating rituals of whatever for, like, two minutes. But the nice thing about these Disney nature ones is that there tends to be, like, a, like a you know, a story. And in this one, it stars Steve and a deli penguin looking for love, trying to build his nest, trying to find a mate, and then struggling with parenthood. And I'm laughing as I'm saying it because it just sounds absurd. But you're watching and you're like, no, and go, Steve, go, and watch out for the seals and watch out for the orchids and find that rock and give it to another bird and, like, propose to her. And you just get invested in it. And look, it's a sub-90-minute film. It's super impressive in terms of, like, the cinematography. I always, I, I have so many questions about how they make these movies. You always wonder, like... You know, are we really seeing Steve the Penguin or how many cobbled together penguins are we seeing right now? And like the behind the scenes stuff on this stuff is insane. It's like, oh yes, and let me dive into freezing water where seals are swimming around and made a penguin and like are in predator mode. And let me just walk next to this penguin in the Antarctic. It's it's insane and kudos to the people who put these together and go out there and film these things. I kept expecting there to be kind of like a guilt factor because it's like, hey, the Antarctic is, you know, melting and Steve will die someday or Steve's progeny or entire species will die someday if we don't do something about it and that's something that like our planet does a lot of especially you know it's like oh well you know here we are humans destroying things and i'm like oh, i don't know how i feel about humans like walking around in antarctica but anyway it's a cute sweet movie it does actually have sort of a plot at least they are not the cutest of penguins i'll say like there's some awkward phases for this particular species of penguin, like, I remember watching Born in China, and there's, like, adorable pandas, and it's, like, pretty much adorable most of the way through this, and you're like, ooh, teenagehood for the deli penguins is questionable. Like, if you like this type of film, it, I think it's worth seeing. Admittedly, I am relatively sure it will be on some sort of Disney streaming in a few months. If, But it, I think it is cool to see it in a theater and just see, like, how sweeping and beautiful the Antarctic is. And the soundtrack for this documentary is so good. It, like, they use some really popular songs. I was like, this is a great choice of this song in this moment. And I, I just to watch these tiny waddling tuxedo armies, it's hilarious and compelling. And it's, I think it's worth checking out. Also, like, it's one of those ones where if you go in the theater, if you happen to go in the theaters during this week, I think they donate to, um, like, con conservancy campaigns. So, you yeah, know, why not? I'm going to give it four out of five.